Hello everyone, Evac Tech here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to activate the original iPhone without a SIM card. So, let's begin. Okay, so first of all, what you need to have is a computer. This will work on Mac and Windows. So, yeah. First of all, you need to connect it to iTunes. Um, you should get this message. We are unable to activate your iPhone at this time, yada, yada, yada. Uh, your iPhone should be on this screen right here. Now, what you want to do, okay, is put this device into DFU mode. So, I'll go through the steps. You want to press and hold the home and power for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Release the power, continue holding the home button until it gets connected to iTunes. So you should hear a chime. There we go. Now it's going to say waiting for iPod. I will have the device right here so you can see it. Oops. The device right there so you can see it. Now it's going to say your iPhone is in recover mode. You must restore this before you can use it with iTunes. So you're going to want to go to the link in the description below and download the Red Snow and the iOS 3.1.2 iPhone 2G IPSW. That is the only way this is going to work. So what you're going to want to do is click Shift on Windows or Option on a Mac. And then Shift, left click, and then go and find your folder where your um, iPhone 2G downgrade is. So there's the folder you want to get iPhone OS 3.1.2 there we go now you want to click on this and click open it's going to extract the software and restore it to 3.1.2 and I will time lapse this while it's doing this Alright, so it's after it's done restoring, you should get a notification telling you that your device has been restored and it is going to restart and it should give you this little progress bar. It only take a few seconds. Um, when I mean few, I mean probably like 10 seconds. But there we go, it's done with that little loading bar. As you can see, this is the 2G. I, I have a SIM card in here, I think. I'm not 100% sure. Um, you'll get this screen again. I don't have a SIM card in here, I guess. But you'll get this notification again, and in iTunes it will say the same thing, yada, yada, yada. But we want to close out of iTunes and open up Red Snow. Now, not the newest version of Red Snow. Red Snow version 09.2. So 9.2, you want to download this version. Now for this, I'm going to just zoom in completely on the screen. And what you want to do now is put your device into DFU mode. So I would do that. So once your device is detected into the computer, you want to click on Browse, okay? You want to go to your folder that you have your IPSW in, your iOS 3.1.2 IPSW, because 3.1.3 does not work. So you're going to open up that, and it will say Processing Firmware, and if it does work, it will say IPSW Successfully Identified. After that, you want to click Next, and it will patch the kernel and stuff like that, yada, yada, yada. After this is done, you're going to want to uncheck Cydia. You can do unlock, which will unlock to any carrier. You can install Cydia, but we just want to unlock it. So after this screen, you want to click Next, and it will tell you to enter DFU mode again. There we go. So it's going to go through all the steps. You should get a screen like this, waiting for reboot. So it's going to upload the RAM disk. Now, this should stay on the screen for a little bit longer after this is all done. And if it takes a while after the screen is done, it's completely normal. I'd say give it about five minutes. If it doesn't do anything after that, I would say retry this process. Because Red Snow isn't always 100% fully working. But, yeah, I'm going to let this do its thing. It's going to say rebooting. 
and it's going to say done. There we go. Here I will have the device. Okay, so here's the process of downloading jailbreak data. I will do a time lapse while this is doing this. It should only take about 10 minutes or 5 minutes. I don't remember fully. Okay, so after this has been um, finishing with the, uh, the pineapple, you should reboot and then it should be unlocked without having the activation screen. So I will not time lapse this just to show you this is raw and this is not focusing prop. Okay, there we go. It's focusing pretty good now. So you can disconnect it now, it doesn't matter. So here's the device itself and as you can see, it gave you the screen for a second, but you should be unlocked. No Cydia, no jailbreak, not a nothing. Hope this video was helpful to you. I know that there's a lot of videos out there that really either A, are vertical lines on the video, they look very unprofessional, or they're a few years out of date, and then some of them are just completely dead and don't work. So, yeah. Alright, so I guess that's going to do it for my video today. Hopefully you do enjoy, and if you did, please smack the like button. Follow my Twitter, Instagram, links will be in the description. And as always, this is Revac Tech, signing out.